My hands are up, bro. My hands are up. You're gonna kill him. He's trying to kill him. What's your name, sir? Your name's go fuck yourself, alright? Go fuck yourself. Thank you, sir. Hello, officer, go fuck yourself. Officer, go fuck yourself. He's trying to kill me. I hope you guys are watching. He had to be told by another officer. He to kill my friends. I'm live streaming. Oh, you're the guy, right? Yeah, yeah. On my stream, he said he's going to fucking threaten to kill. He's going to kill us all. I can't believe that shit. Put your gun down. What are you doing? Stop pointing it! Put your fucking gun down! Hungry! Good job, Sergeant! Stand down! Good job, Sergeant! Put that gun away! What's his name? Put that gun away! I want it! Hey, put that gun away! Sergeant! Sergeant, tell that guy to take that gun away from him! Sergeant! Put your gun down! Get that gun away from him, Sergeant! Take his gun away! semi-automatic rifle is terrified. I saw that. That officer just tried to kill me. I, I filmed that. Thank you. I filmed that officer said. Yeah, he said he'd fucking shoot you. I saw that. I'm right here. This officer just threatened to kill someone with a semi-automatic rifle. This officer right here. He's not mature with it. If you shoot the one, you have blood on your hands. Excuse me, Sergeant. That man there is acting afraid. I, I'm just telling you. Uh, please talk to him, please. I, I, I got another Sergeant. Okay, Sergeant. I, I understand that. It's not a good thing when cops with rifles act afraid, Sergeant. Shit. People are throwing stuff at the police. People are throwing objects at the police. And I am uh, observing what the hell is going on. I've seen some water bottles tossed. I'm just being objective and uh, covering what I see. Officer threatened to shoot someone just a moment ago, and I filmed it. We got these officers here with with rifles drawn at us. And up comes. This is a camera. It's a camera, okay? I just want you to see it's got white on it. If you want me to move, just tell me to move and I'll move. So we have the full response of the police court, the police state. And right now, this is a camera that's white on it. Please understand it's just a camera, okay? Okay. There 
They're using L Rad to try to move the crowd. And there is quite a bit of police presence here. They're pushing the crowd right now. They're moving their line into the sidewalk. All these cops are seriously acting afraid. They should stop acting so fearful. If they have all these weapons, I just don't get it. Maybe they should get another career. Maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, a, a gardener or something. Or uh, maybe a... Uh, There has been an arrest. There's been an arrest. There's people throwing bottles. Shit, there's people throwing bottles at the police. There's people here throwing bottles at the police. They're trying to arrest someone. This ain't about getting shot. With the canine unit menacing people as they've been arrested. I just saw an officer put his gas mask. I'm still here listening. All right. Uh, one more question about the, your, your video specifically. Um, were, were you the person speaking, saying things like um, the officer's acting afraid? That was me, yes. Okay. Uh, and can you explain what you meant by that? Sir? Yeah, I'm trying to think how to answer. Um, I'm. They, uh, a few of them seemed... Uh, uh, like they were in fear, like, um, uh, that, you know, a fear response is, um, uh, something that, uh, happens in those kind of situations. Uh, I've seen cops handle it differently, you know, that I, I don't see, uh, I didn't see that as the norm for that kind of situation. I'm using him as a fact of this as well. Because he serves two purposes. Uh, and because his voice is heard on the video, and it's just trying to explain what he meant by what he was saying. Mr. Smith, you need to answer the questions that are directed to you and not expound on them, please. Okay, sure. Um, I, I thought that they... I the, question that the last question that Mr. Shuby asked you was, uh, Beth, did you read that back? Okay, sure. I, I meant uh, I could I could I could see that fear was present in quite a few of the officers uh, in that situation, and I felt that violence could have been, uh, 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 you know, brought into the equation because of that fear, and that's why I pointed it out in the video. Uh, at any point, was Mr. Alvarez's weapon pointed at you, Mr. Smith? Yes. And how did that make you feel? Fearful of my life.
That's all my questions. Mr. Smith, my name is Brandy Barth. I represent Raymond Alvers. How are you? I'm good. Good morning. Good. Good morning. Uh, you testified earlier that you were having difficulty answering the question of what you meant by they were fearful. Well, that's because it's not difficult to answer because you meant exactly what you said, that the cops seemed afraid that night, correct? Some of them did, yes. Okay. And in fact, you say on the video... The guy walking, holding a semi-automatic weapon is, quote, terrified. Isn't that what you said? That's what I said. And that's because, based upon your observations, Mr. Albers looked terrified, correct? He looked, he looked in a very, he looked in a state of fear, yes. Well, that's not what you said. You said he looked terrified. He looked terrified. Uh, that, that's the same thing in my mind. Yes, he looked terrified. Okay. Now, the video where you're coming up, you're coming up after Mr. Albers already has his weapon raised, correct? Um, yes, he, he had it raised level by the time I caught eyesight with him. And do you have any clue what was happening to Mr. Albers before his weapon was raised? Uh, no, because I wasn't looking at him. Right. Uh, now, you testify, and I'm sorry, you say in the video that people were throwing things at the cops. You observed that, correct? Yes, I did observe that after and, after Mr. Elbers had his rifle up. Well, that's because you didn't see what happened when he raised his, his rifle initially, correct? I No, I did not see him initially raise his rifle, correct. Okay. And do you know that people in the crowd were throwing bottles of urine at police officers? I'm asking if he knows. I did not see that. I'm not aware of it. Well, hold on, Mr. Smith. Yeah. Cross the information all allow it. If he knows or doesn't know or what happened or didn't happen, you can testify. Do you know whether or not people in the crowd were throwing bottles of urine at police officers? I do not have any knowledge of that, no. Do you know if they were throwing rocks at police officers? I didn't see any rocks thrown. Okay, well, let me put it this way. What objects did you see being thrown at police officers? After, before or after Mr. Elvers raised, raised the rifle. Right, Mr. Smith. I just want to make sure we're talking about. Part three will conclude my participation in Ray Elvers' trial. It's basically just the rest of my cross examination. So I was reading in the Huffington Post article about this whole situation, and basically the cop that trained Ray Elvers how to use firearms, or one of their firearms trainers for uh, St. Anne Police Department. Uh, contradicts Ray Elber's testimony, you know, in, in regards to how he was trained. You know, they're supposed to scan the horizon for their target or their active threat with their eyes and hold the rifle at a ready position, not scan the rifle back and forth o over, you know, 30 people or so. That's just a way to accidentally get someone killed. And that's precisely what I was trying to say uh, when the defense attorney and myself were kind of talking over each other a little bit is, yes, you don't point a rifle in the direction of someone or something unless you're intending on killing it. Gun Culture 101. Everybody knows this. In my humble opinion, Mr. Elbers should never have a law enforcement credential again, period. Okay, things like qualified immunity and this massive police union and the culture of being able to have your word perceived as God, unless there's video to contradict your statement, is something that no one should have, in my humble opinion. But if we're going to be giving it to people, we have to screen and scrutinize these people and make sure they're made of sterner stuff. Cooler heads need to prevail when weapons are brought into play during a protest. Thanks for watching.